I'm doing that first heard pop culture, entertainment, things like that. And of course, once in a while, checking out Twitter, here we have something kind of interesting. This person says, Eve Barlow, I've sat back long enough. I've watched you, your sad mother effing parade of losers, hacks, and wannabes stomp their feet and prance around like spoiled children. The person you support did this to my face. Her friends attacked my son, who was only 16, no longer quiet. And of course, she is talking about Amber. Now on Twitter, she doesn't say she's talking about Amber, but on TikTok, she absolutely does. Now, I gotta say this. When we're talking about defamation, as we know, you don't have to mention the person by name to know who's being talked about. So even on here, it's pretty clear she's talking about Amber. But then once you click the link, you could obviously see it in text. Also, I need some proof she at least knows Amber. I've got to see a photo at least of her with Amber. I'm not saying she's got to spill all the beans all at once, but you got to at least lay out the foundation of your story. You've got to lay out the foundation of the evidence. She also says here she's not on Twitter much. This place can be dark. I spend my online time on TikTok, not a creator, and considering going private so it doesn't get dark there too. And Jeannie Depp says, I'm sorry I went through this. Would you be comfortable telling the story? And I say she has to tell the story and give us some proof she at least knows Amber. The more unconfirmed things that get out, the worse Johnny fans look. Unless you clearly label it rumor, etc. We believe based on evidence, remember? And the whole thing is, for the last four or five years, we've been saying we gotta believe based on evidence. So this can't be any different. Gotta hold the same standard. I'm open to what she's saying. It could be true, but we gotta see more. And Andy Signor asks, what's the story? Hit me up. So, believe it or not, I haven't actually checked out the TikTok yet. Maybe there is more proof. Let's see what she says on the other forum. Here's her TikTok, and she says, this is what a face looks like with makeup and after someone smashes your face with a fist. Amber Heard is a liar and should be in jail. Scrolling down, it says, this was done to me by Amber Heard herself. They also attacked my 16-year-old son and F you and your experts. Okay, so on Twitter, I was speculating if she was even talking about Amber, but obviously she is. And she says here, if I have to hear Amber isn't a violent abuser one more time, I will go viral and the world will know what that monster did to me and my son. And I gotta say, I have to see some proof for that. You gotta at least start by showing you and Amber in a picture together, showing that you know her, proving that you know her. She said she hasn't spoken up because of her son. All right. Honestly, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know if that's a huge factor. I've got kids, maybe at 16, it's a little different. He could, you know, get online and see things, but I don't know. Lola says, can we get a story time? Too many people don't say anything. I understand why, but if she did this, people need to know about it. She says, my page is filthy with story times about this. Let me know if you don't see them. There are several vids from July as well. And her whole 15 second clip is just this on a loop, basically. Here's her name, Sloan Droth. If you guys have a TikTok account, maybe you want to follow her, something like that. I have very rarely used TikTok. I think maybe once or twice, so I don't know what her timeline is. But Twitter's right there. She should be tweeting that out too. Screenshots of any evidence she's got. I'm going to assume she doesn't have a picture of her with Amber or else you'd see it there. But I could be wrong. I am so terrible on TikTok, especially the computer I <laughs> Oh gosh. All right. Now, the other thing is this. The Johnny community, I think, is great. Johnny community sticks together. However, some things do get out that are rumors and unconfirmed. And if that's the case, I do it myself, but I clearly put rumor in the title and on the thumbnail, and I'll say it in the video. So you'll make no mistake when it's just speculation. But if too many things here like this get out that's just unconfirmed and the person's just saying it happened then that's not so good. Because then it doesn't make the real things look as credible. It makes it look like the real things might also be things that are unconfirmed. Even if we know the confirmation, the wide-scale audience might not. So that's why I gotta see something here. But obviously something happened, and whatever it was, I hope she gets the best attention and the problem gets solved. 
legally or otherwise or whatever. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, pop culture, celebrity news, stuff like that. I think I said that before. I repeat sometimes. I move like a mile a minute every day, 24-7. It's exhausting. And if you don't subscribe here, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.